Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be aquascaping this 20 gallon long aquarium. In this project, I'll be using this cheap little internal filter, as well as a budget light meant for a 10 gallon aquarium, but I'm using it here on a 20 gallon anyway. This will be a doted setup, so my dote of choice is this Miracle Grow Organic Choice stuff. Whatever you use, just make sure it's completely organic. You'll notice that these potting mixes have a lot of like bark and mulch and stuff in them, and that needs to be filtered out, so we're left with nothing but the fine powder. You can use a sieve like this, but when I tried using it for this build, it took so, so long, so I just made my own little strainer and that made things go a lot faster. then began to use water to completely saturate the soil and turn it into a mud consistency. The idea here is that it'll release any trapped air bubbles and keep them from creating some bad conditions in your substrate. I don't actually know how important this is, I've done multiple doted builds without doing this step, but I figured better be safe than sorry and try it out in the setup. If anybody has more information on whether or not this is actually really important, let me know. Anyways, after I was done with this, I covered the dirt in an inch to two inches of sand. very very slowly filled the tank up with water to begin planting. Although I did get a lot of plants for this build, I'll only be using two species, Cryptocorin Sri Lanka and Valsinaria gigantea. I ordered these plants from boostplant.com, I did not receive these plants for free, nor did I get any compensation for talking about them, but I've always ordered my plants from boostplant.com when I get them online, and I've always had good success. If you guys are curious, these plants ran me around $70 for all of them, which is a bit steep, but honestly, it's a lot of plants for the money. With the tank filled with water and the plants prepared, it was time to get planting.